absolutely beautiful. Anyway, hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm that TI, your presenter, Atta. This is my mate Sam. Hi. Today we'll be test driving a 420i. It's the controversial new one with the Bucks Bunny teeth. Yeah, definitely sticks to the road. I wonder what it's running on tyres. I didn't even check when we got in. Well, I've not left by the time I get back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly that. I absolutely love it. Yeah, it's it's a true BMW because it's rear wheel drive. So it's, it's the thing. Do you, do you pay the extra four thousand pounds to get a four thirty i when the four twenty i does it so well? I don't know. With the probably with the four thirty i, you have the benefit of the extra, you know, power. Yeah, so I think it's 252 brake horsepower. I think it's 230. 230, yeah. or whatever the figures are. And then I think it's like 400 newton meters of torque. Yes. And I think the 0 to 62 is 5. Point... No, 5.6? Yeah. Something like that. This with this dash, the way this all flows in as well, which I know is very. G20 is very similar to this. This comes up slightly higher yeah. the full series, which again gives you the feeling of a lot more. Sort of lower down. The build quality is phenomenal. Yeah. Even down here, it's cheaper, but it's it's not. It's it's got some push to it. The real the ride quality, I would say, is very similar to the uh, to the old one. Not a lot in it, but I think he just feels a bit more special. I think. Yeah. Just a bit of background information on Sam. He's owned. How many four series? Is one four yeah, series and a couple two, of three two series. Two four series and then about four or five and three. So his previous car was a Grand Coupe uh, 420i. So it's pretty much got the same engine, the same power, which is 184, 180, yeah. something like that, with 300 uh, newton meters of torque. All that boring info that people don't really want to know. This just feels more special, but it's it, you know. Works. At the moment, there's a great deal for the 4 Series and Barron's came, which are given a crazy offer on discount on the 4 Series at the moment. And I didn't ask, but what did he say to you? £8,000 discount on the 4 Series. Oh, yeah. okay. That's, that's and pretty that's good. Just, that's what it was opening, opening price, as it were. Okay. And then he's basically giving me quite close to the um, to my assessment figure. Bear in mind that the X3 I currently have is only four months old. Okay. So all that mate, you'd expect to, to sort of land you pretty well. Need to be fair, they have done very well on the price. Oh, so Lord. there's a lot of space back here. I'll just take that. If I just show you, that's probably about 30 centimeters. I can fit three, four fingers. Three no, is limited, three. isn't it? Yeah, three fingers on the height. How tall are you? I'm six foot two. Oh. Not as tall as Joe Achilles. <laughs> Have you heard how tall he is? Yeah. <laughs> so interesting thing about this car, it actually doesn't have a valve. So when you put it in sports mode, there isn't a valve flap like in my car. That sounds pretty nice. Though. Obviously, having a car that has the same engine as the previous model, yeah. obviously weight is slightly different versus yeah. your old car. How many miles per gallon did you used to get? I used to get about. 30, I mean, depending on obviously what you're doing, but on a daily basis, about 33, 35. Cool. I mean, you get the same figures, don't you? Get around with 30 something, yeah. Yeah. I think the BMW say 37 to 42. Um, so the tank capacity on this car is roughly 59 litres. Really? On a full tank of fuel, you're looking at 75 quid per filling. Well, it's the same with the X3 to be fair, but the diesel is about 80 pounds I think, so. Yeah. It's the same, same, probably the same fuel tank. It has to, it has to make a bit of a different, put a grill on the front that sets a different, sets a different trend. Personally, by yeah. itself, I think it looks pretty cool. When, when on the road, anyone that hasn't, I don't know, maybe people have said it, anyone that has seen pictures but hasn't seen it in the flesh. Oh yeah, definitely. And definitely. when you get to the car, you don't even notice the, you know, I won't admit this to many people, but I've enjoyed the last, 
20 minutes in this car more than I have in the last four months under my X3. Seriously? Yeah, no doubt about it. That is a bold statement right there. No, it is. It just feels like it's, you know, it's just the cockpit. Yeah, yeah it's smaller. That makes it better. Like, yeah. I can't explain it. But the, it being a bit smaller, it's like a go-kart. You know, you drive a go-kart, it's bloody good fun, isn't it? You don't want to stop. That's how this feels.